you guys were shot in the park, they with the same rifle, half an hour apart. Good, both dead? Uh, hold on a second. Hey, the Parkdale guys, both dead? Both dead. Both dead? Both dead, very good. OK, let's give this guy a catchy name. Yeah, I'm guessing he already has a name. Yes, I'm sure he does. Uh, Parkdale serial killer. Two dead isn't serial. Serial enough for me. Uh, two at best is binary. Oh, yeah, OK, we'll call him the binary killer. That should be an audience grabber. How about suspected sniper? Suspected sniper has too many S's. Sniper threat. Fine, I'll go with sniper threat. The fact of the matter is, you guys, if people feel threatened, they want more information. And they watch more news. And they're better informed, and that's why we're here. To uh, threaten the widest possible audience. The item will be called Sniper Threat. Let's just do it. Sniper Threat. Building security reported to me you've been caught twice using the handicap washer. Security reported that to you? They take this shit very seriously, and in their minds, twice makes you a serial offender. Twice makes me serial? I thought that twice was no, binary. No words, it's in there. Internal memo. Oh my God, so all these people know about my using the handicap Facility, so do yourself a favor and either get yourself a wheelchair or use the regular men's room now also. Well, the blood tests weren't that good. No, it, it's been very difficult for everyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, he hasn't eaten much at all today. It, some dog chow and uh, a milk bone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now he's got that damn little fur ball he calls a dog lying right next to my desk. I, I thought you liked dogs. Real dogs. Oh, right, like a, a, a man's dog. Yeah, hunting dogs. Come on, you shoot a duck, you think that little fur ball is going to jump into ice cold water and break the duck dinner home? It's more likely to order in. <laughs> he's got to wear a plaid coat, for God's sakes. So it's how the dog dresses that you don't like? You know, I am all for gay rights, but when he flaunts his sexual orientation via bringing that dog into this office, that is a violation of my rights. Which rights, exactly? My rights not to have to imagine his sex life. So Michael's dog makes you imagine Michael's sex life? Hmm. That dog is a militantly gay sexual statement. Right. I just, I, I need to, um... We're starting a lottery for when the dog's going to die. There's no way that dog lasts more than a week. So what I've done is I've broken it down into six hour periods. Four a day for seven days. It's 28 squares. $10 gets you a square. We fill the board. You can win $270 if he dies in your square. OK, give me Thursday, 6 PM to midnight. Thursday, 6 to midnight. Came to the right agency for this on-air sports spot. I love the philosophy of choosing a woman. Well, it's not really philosophical. Basically, between us, it's tits and ass. But philosophically, it's symbolic that this country's finally growing up. I mean, we don't have to go to New York anymore to get shot. We got terror threats, female reporters in the locker room. Chandra Berman would be a perfect fit for the sports spot. Chandra. I know, as in Chandra Levy Gary Condit. When they finally found that poor girl's body and her parents stopped going on Larry King, we lost one of the great TV acts of all time. I love Chandra Berman. If the name Chandra is not an omen for like huge numbers, I don't know what is. Are well, you going to thank me for putting this woman on your plate? And for that, I ask you one little favor. <clears throat> you take one lunch with Bill Coogan. The old announcer? The veteran broadcaster. Yeah, I've represented Bill since I got into this business. The guy is a news icon. He's an announcer. No commitments, one lunch. Oh, come on. The guy's got to be 65 if he's a day. One of the loveliest individuals in this business, Bill Coogan, can do it all if he lives. The fact is, he's dying, and he just wants to stay in the game. You want me to hire a guy who's dying? He's got that very hot disease, uh, Babe Ruth's disease. Don't you mean Lou Gehrig's disease? Lou Gehrig's disease. My baseball's shitty. All right, how I see this is as follows. You use him sort of as a backup announcer, right? Special occasions, a, a royal visit, uh, a terror attack, maybe. And then we run a story on his disease, TV Times cover, whatever. People will love to watch him. I mean, it's like, he's dying, I'm not. People are sick. But a sickle was a Nielsen number like anyone else, OK? I'm not asking you to put him into your starting rotation, just you take one lunch for old time's sake. So you know Donald Shaw? Yeah. Word is he's starting his own 24-hour news channel. They're looking for a news director to run the whole deal. Someone. They pay four times what you're getting here, OK? 
That's a place in the Caymans. That's a private washroom. That's a serious pension. Okay, that's a company car. Private washroom? Yes, we can make that deal. Look, George, I'm not trying to blow smoke up your ass, okay? But you're a fucking genius. You're the Stephen Hawking of TV news without the wheelchair. Someone mentioned a wheelchair to you? No, that's all mine. George, this is your fucking destiny. The gods have blessed you. Sniper or serial killer or multiple murder suspect. Call this very dangerous individual what you will, but this city is feeling a little less safe tonight. <laughs> nice, you got him all in. And now with sports, I'd like to welcome a new member of our team, live from the Sky Dome, Chandra Berman. Welcome aboard, Chandra. It's great to be here, Jim. Great to have you, Chandra. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm thinking that you must be pretty tired of people reminding you that you have the same first name as Chandra Levy. Am I right? Well, that doesn't happen a lot. Trouble. Well, she was a terrific woman and one that will be sorely missed. Uh, actually, Chandra Levy, who was murdered over two years ago, was murdered, I believe, before the public had a chance to know her, Jim. Well, that's a very good point, and one that might just well be the real tragedy of this story. A public figure's life cut short before the public had a chance to appreciate who she really was. But you know, we all remember her parents so well from the Larry King show and the suffering they went through night after night on national television. And it's actually almost a tragedy in itself that the body was found. And we won't be seeing the Levies on Larry on a regular basis anymore. You know, their courage was an inspiration to us all. And speaking of inspiration, talk to us about the winning streak that we're on. Nice segue. Well, well stupidity and sincerity work very well on television. And she's cute. And she's cute. Uh, Bill Coogan called. He said that his agent spoke to you at a lunch and he wants to set up a time and place. Not now. Okay. Is this the announcer with Lou Gehrig's disease? Yes, I'm aware of his condition and I'll talk to him later, okay? Well, when? I don't know when. Later. He's kind of old. I feel sorry for him. I have my reasons for not wanting to get pushed into this lunch, okay? He's an over-the-hill announcer who can do nothing for your career except diminish your reputation as a player by being seen with you in public. Ding, ding, ding. So you guys think I'm afraid to take this lunch? Well, I think if it was Lou Gehrig with Bill Coogan's disease rather than the other way around, you'd take the lunch. Exactly. Okay. Book a reservation for two Cafe Brussels. It's a restaurant where everyone big in this business eats. Satisfied? I'm impressed. Now, I'm not a person without feelings, right? But this dog, when is this dog gonna die? Really, I mean, what's the prognosis on this dog? I understand, okay? I'm swearing you to secrecy on this, okay? Well, you mean about using the handicap uh, washrooms? Okay. Uh, absolutely. Okay. This memo running down my supposed offenses was copied to all of these people. Now, is that an invasion of privacy? Do, do you mean, does it break some kind of privacy law? Yes. Well, you know, I, 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 I graduated from law school, but I, I didn't really ever practice, and, and because, 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 you know, because, um, because... Um... I understand. Just an opinion. Well, okay, I mean... Do you have to use a uh, handicap? The person wants privacy, okay? Is there anything in the labor law about privacy in the workplace I can use? Well, you know, I, I, like, I, you know like I said, I, 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 I graduated from law school, but I didn't practice because, because, because I was, um, because I was, uh, I know. Was... This isn't the strictest confidence between you and me, okay? Okay. Now, this guy in building services, are you still dating him? Yeah, from time to time. Okay, here's my thinking. During a private moment with this guy. Yeah, a private moment. Yes, well, an adult moment. You're both adults. You have adult moments. You bring up the issue of the private washroom that I need a private during washroom. During sex, you want me to tell him that you want a private washroom? Not during sex. Not during the act. It can be afterwards. I don't care. Is this because of your handicapped washroom offenses? How did you know about that? Oh, it's going around. Oh, this is great. This is fantastic. Really? Who told you? I was sworn to secrecy. Absolutely certain he's dead. Okay, 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 thanks, I'll get back. Did you tell Claire about the handicapped washroom? Uh, no. You're lying. Look, I, I told Alex and Alex told Claire, but I swore him to secrecy. I swore you to secrecy. Yeah, but I didn't think it applied to Alex. I mean, he uses a, a handicap too. He does? Oh, I'm sorry, but I wasn't sworn to secrecy. What's this thing? What thing? The reason you gave so you could use handicap. Yeah, uh, I, uh, I have this condition and I uh, reported it to security, so I qualified for handicapped. Well, then this is a legitimate condition. They bought it. So you're official then? 
blacked out sometimes when I stand up too quickly and handicapped has that emergency cord that you can pull. Why not stand up slowly? Why stand up slowly when you can stand up quickly and get official access to handicapped? You're telling me you can get official access to handicapped just for standing up too quickly? Don't get any ideas. It's mine. You think I would steal that? I don't know. Two cases in one office. I think they get a little bit suspicious. Do you think I'm small-minded enough to go that far to get a private washroom? To make up a ridiculous condition like that? Pass it on to security who are completely capable of giving that information to the police and to the government? No, thank you. It's all yours. Oh, okay. Thank you. Can I go? Yes. So what's the story on the dog? Still alive. I thought I had two days left to live. I had yesterday 12 till 6 a.m. because the dog had stopped walking. He's hanging on. What if they put him to sleep? Is the pool still on? No, no, no. We, we get the time. All bets are good. Your lunch with Bill Coogan's 12.30 Thursday. He's dying, you know. He's got Lou Gehrig's disease. What did Gehrig hit lifetime? I think it was 3.40. Hi, I'm George Finley. I'm expecting one more. He's not here yet, Mr. Finley. Let me show you to your table. He died in my arms. Uh, in the arms of Natalie Wood in West Side Story. I'm sorry. What time did he die? This morning at 6. I didn't think it was going to be this difficult, you know? Yeah. Is it, uh... Was it at exactly six, or was it just before or just after six? It's right at six. Right at six, yeah. It's right at six, not a few seconds on either side. It's a digital clock. There are no seconds. Right, so six on the nose. Yes. Six. six. Shit. I set your lunch with Bill Coogan for exactly 12.30. Yes, and it's 10 to 1. And this was a favor for that goddamn agent, okay? I want you to track him down and find out where his guy is because I'm sitting here all alone in one of the most popular restaurants in this goddamn city, okay? Yeah. Okay, I'll do what I can. Thank you very much. Goodbye. George, how are you? Yeah. Pat Stewart, All Sports News. Oh, Pat, yeah, yeah. How are you? Great, great. Reading alone? Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, I'm, I'm, um... I'm meeting uh, um, uh, Bill Coogan. Remember, remember Bill? Bill Coogan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still. Yeah, he's 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 got pretty old, but but he's dying. I mean, he's dying of. Um... And uh... isn't that Donald Shaw over there? There's a lot of talk. He's starting up another news channel. You think it stands a chance? Are you kidding? Never. Toilet. Nice to see you. Yeah. Nice to see you. George, right? Don Shaw, how are you doing? Good. Very good, very good. I, I, uh, I've heard about this news channel you're starting up, and I know it's just going to be a slam dunk. It's going to be brilliant. No, we think so. Great, 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 great. You eating alone? Oh, no, no, this, this, this. No, I'm, I'm just waiting for something. Yeah, yeah. Not your wife? No. no. I remember her from the old days. Yeah, well, we've been divorced for quite a while. Yeah, I slept with her way before you two met. Uh huh. Well, I'm actually waiting for uh, uh, Bill Coogan. Bill Coogan? My God, is he still alive? No. Oh, no, no, I mean, yeah, yes, he's alive. What I meant to say is that I'm having lunch with him because uh, he's, he's got Lou Gehrig's disease. You know, it's kind of a sympathy sort of... Uh, but Gehrig was a major hitter. I mean, let's face it. Well, this he, is a coincidence, you know, because I wanted to talk to you about something. Okay. So do me a favor. Don't run off after lunch. No, 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 absolutely not. Absolutely not. We'll talk outside when you're done. Oh, very good, very good, because my guy hasn't showed up yet. You know, he's got Lou Gehrig's disease. Say hello to Bill for me. Yeah. You yeah. know what? On second thought, don't, because he'll possibly ask me for a job. Oh, well, tell me about it. Why do you think I'm having lunch with <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, George, how are you? Oh, very good, very good, very good. I'm eating alone? No, no, actually, I'm not. I'm actually, I'm on the phone, and I'm waiting for a guy who's dying. He's, 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 he's taking his time. He's got Lou Gehrig's disease. The guy I'm meeting is, I'm a... What's going on? I have his agent on the other line. I was about to patch you in. Hold on a second. Yeah. Yeah, can you hear me? Good, because I'm very, very pissed off, okay? Your guy who cannot get arrested in this town has stood me up for this lunch, okay? I'm sitting here eating alone in one of the most important restaurants in this city. Okay, I ran into Don Shaw, 
right? And he wanted to meet me after lunch, so I have to sit here. I can't even leave the goddamn restaurant. Bill has a reason for not showing. Well, it better be pretty fucking good. He was killed in a car accident on Highway 403 coming in from, from north of the city. I mean, he has Lou Pinella's disease, but still, this is... Not Lou Pinella's disease. Lou Pinella is overweight. He has Lou Gehrig's disease, okay? Lou Gehrig. And this is a horrible thing. Did Donald mention to you that he wanted to talk? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Was I right? You're very hot right now. Just hang in there, okay? You eat alone. Order the sea bass. It's delicious. It's phenomenal. And then as soon as you finish talking with Donald, call me because I can make a very good deal for you there. Um, I, uh, I, I, I heard the news about your dog. Um, sorry. Thank you. When exactly did he die? This morning at six. Do you, you have a, um, a, a digital clock or one with hands? Digital. Why? Oh, just when you were, we were doing a story on, um, on digital versus hands. I and, mean, you know, with digital clocks, people have stopped approximating time. They just, uh, they, they look at the clock and they see the exact minutes. Whereas, you know, before they would have to round off to six o'clock. And I just, know, you know, I know how important your dog was to you. So I was wondering if when you looked at the clock, it was six on the dot when he died. It was six. George, looks like you got stood up. I'll take it easy. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, the guy I was supposed to meet uh, uh, was killed in a car accident on his way over here. Bill Coogan was killed? I, I thought he had the, uh, what the? Yeah, Lou Gehrig's disease. No, it, 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 was, it, was, it was horrible. I, I couldn't eat a thing. It was, it... no, no, <laughs> no, you're looking at this, but, but this is kind of complicated. What happened was that I had ordered the sea bass before I found out the horrible news, and 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 you know, I mean, sea bass is almost extinct and yeah. incredibly expensive. Oh, I'm really, I'm really sorry. Well, you know, eating alone is not so terrible. Oh, man, I'm sorry about Coogan. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, it was horrible, horrible. So, I guess I'll see you. Yeah, take it easy. I oh, see so you haven't finished yet. Oh, uh, yeah, I have. I have. I, 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 I have. I, I actually I can't eat anything because. I just got some horrible news that uh, Bill Coogan was killed in a car crash on his way over here on the 403. And you still sat here and had lunch? No, I didn't. I actually, I didn't. I, I couldn't swallow a thing. Looks like you've done all right. What happened was that I had already ordered the fish, and it's almost extinct. I didn't want to offend them, and I was waiting for you to let you know that, uh, that uh, Coogan was killed because he was one of our great broadcasters. You know, I didn't think he was that good. Well, I, actually, I didn't either. I mean, the hype was that he was one of our greatest broadcasters. And, and you were meeting him to? I was meeting him, uh, well, you know, he had Lou Gehrig's disease and, uh, and uh, I, you know, the Lou Gehrig Foundation and, you know, every dollar helps and I'm involved in that. And uh, listen, why don't I get the check and I'll meet you out No, no, finish your lunch. I've got to be somewhere in 10 minutes. You know what? I'll call you by the end of the week and we can talk then. Absolutely, absolutely. Are you still waiting for your other party, sir? No, 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 uh, he's dead. What happened? My God, I'm sorry. Yeah, he was killed in a car crash on his way over here. I think I better have the check, okay? <laughs> Not today. Not after what you've been through. Your lunch is on us, sir. Oh, really? Yes, sir. Oh, thank you. Oh, excuse me. Um, you know, I come here a lot, and you know that lobster appetizer that you have here, the little piece of lobster, I think it's about 25 or mm -hmm. 30? Yes, yes. You know, I've never tried that, and I would love to try that. Do you think I could get that now? Okay. Good. I'll tell the waiter. Thank you. Michael's dog died. That's about time. Yeah, there's a problem. Uh, he claims it died at six on the nose. Six on the nose? There's no such thing. It's because he either died before six or after six. Somebody's got to win. Now, I had after six. Who had before? Uh, Lisa and shipping. A breast feeder? She's a single mother. We figured you'd give it up. Shaw's office called to confirm, but there's uh, a memorial service for Bill Coogan on Monday at 1, which unfortunately does conflict with your lunch with Mr. Shaw. They set his funeral for Monday? How can they? The lunch is huge. I know, okay. I'll send flowers. 
And there's also a memorial service for Michael's dog on Sunday afternoon. Drink football? Yeah. Didn't think so. George, you're not eating alone again, are you? No, 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 no. I'm eating with Don Shaw. Don Shaw. He, oh. He, he, he's a little late. Oh, sorry. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, it's me. It's 1.20 and Don Shaw isn't here yet. He's supposed to be here at 12.30. I don't want to be stuck in another one of those Bill Coogan fiascos eating here alone. Where the hell is he? His office just called. I was about to call you. Um, he forgot that he had to go to Bill Coogan's funeral. He said he's up to Europe for a month tomorrow and that you should call him when he's back. Fine. So there's no private washroom? No, sir. My friend couldn't swing it. But it wasn't for lack of effort. You know, personally, I think you went a little bit too far. My God. He told them that you have that condition in his memo. So building services thinks I have this condition? Yes, sir. It's a little bit private and a little bit weird, but he read it in a medical textbook, so sorry about that. My God. I know. But, you know, um, there is an upside to this whole thing. You now have official handicap washroom status based on that condition. <laughs>